2. Try to explain what we thought about it. So, uh, we begin with uh, with both of us standing very near this time, and uh, me with my left foot forward, she with her right foot forward. And uh, for me, it's obvious that there's an opening on the left side, so that's what I what I take this dagger. Um, she is carrying that with the dagger on her arm, so. She carries that, and now she gives control to her. Uh, she gives control over my over my arm to her left arm, and from there, she winds her dagger into my face. From here, <coughs> I can. I still have my left hand, so I block that. Now I let my dagger go, and from here, I grab over and take her, take her elbow, and turn her around. Give control to my right hand. With my left hand, I go on her shoulder, and now I make a step forward to bring her to the ground. Um, the only shortcoming of, um, of this uh, of this lock is that she can escape the lock if I don't bring her to the ground, and she does this in the, the next sequence. Um, there are, actually there are two ways of, of attacking. We found um, so let's begin again here and. She can also come, come from outside. If she comes from, from outside with her dagger, instead of going directly from my, from my face, um, I can still use my left hand to block this. Still in my dagger go. And now I grab over, I grab over, over her arm and can use the same, uh, the same way of, uh, of locking her. <coughs> so from here, uh, she wants to escape my, she wants to escape my lock. <laughs> she wants to escape my to escape my lock, and thus she makes uh, she makes uh, she gives she gives her dagger into into her other hand. She gives her dagger into her other hand, so and uh, makes a step with her right leg backwards, and thus she gets me. And that's the that's the way to um, to turn out of this uh, of this lock. If you are standing against the wall or if you are on the ground already, it's very hard to get out there. I see what's coming. Damn, I see her leg. I grab her arm and I can now I can now disarm her. So um, and I use my I use my left hand going to the blade. And thank you. <laughs> and you can you can all you can you can try this yourself. Um, the, uh, the thumb is always the weak spot, so you can you have a you have a lever here. You have a lever here and can and can uh, and can open up the um, the hand and, uh, and 
this army or opponent. Okay? <clears throat> so she comes here, I want to disarm her and I could go, go for her there. So let's let's assume I'm uh, let's assume I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm grabbing her blade and I'm stupid enough not to use it. She steps in, grabs under my under my chin or on my throat, and um, now she has an effective lever to to, um, to throw me. So um, Maya says um, you grab uh, to smash. So um, uh, between uh, between the legs, and it's, uh, it's, it's uh, as effective as, uh, as using the uh, the knee. So you're first um, first you are. And first, you're dis disbalancing your opponent by um, by pushing, pushing pushing the chin upward, and then you need you don't need much to um, to pull him forward. And you know when the enemy is on the ground, it's much easier to uh, get rid of him <laughs> than if he's standing. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you, Susan, and thank you for watching.